Greetings guys, welcome to another Candy Sparkles tutorial. I know a long time no see. We won't see me today, I'm gonna hide from the camera, but I do wanna make this nice and quick. I wanna show you guys how to make awesome shoelace tips. So we are going to be using our shoelace tips and I will tell you where to purchase these, our shoelace tips on our website, of course. This is a ribbon, my test ribbon I'm gonna use for the tutorial. You'll need scissors, tweezers, Preferably a heat gun, but if you don't have a heat gun, you'll be able to use a lighter. So we're gonna jump right into this. So first, you want to get your um, tips cut down into about three quarters of an inch to an inch pieces. We sell them in eight inch pieces, so it's enough to do at least two pair of shoes. So I already have mine cut. I'm gonna take my ribbon. I wanna go ahead and just cut the end of this ribbon off. Okay. Once I cut my ribbon, I wanna roll it. I want to roll this up and these tips can be used on more than just shoelaces like on the little hoodie strings any type of strings where you need a nice tip so that you can thread it they can be used for okay all right so I have this rolled up all nice and neat so I want to get my tip and I want to go ahead and I just want to slide this through the tip as far as possible once I have it as far as that I can push it on my own, I wanna get my tweezers to help me out. So I'm just gonna take my tweezers, I'm gonna stick it in here, grip that, and I wanna pull it out. Let's go, there we go. And I wanna pull it up. I wanna to try to make sure that what I see in here looks nice and neat, because this is what the client will see, or this is what the end will look like in result. Okay, so it looks nice and neat inside there, right? So first I want to show you guys with a lighter. If you don't have a heat gun, you can do it with the lighter. So with the lighter, you want to be really careful with the lighter because you can burn the tip. It will burn. It'll be a little darker. So let's get this going. We're just going to kind of go, there we go, back and forth just a little bit. Well, come on now. Now my lighter don't want to cooperate. I don't want too much fire. Okay. So we're gonna go back and forth over that. Try not to get your ribbon because it will burn your ribbon. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna get the other side without burning my finger. Flip again. And I'm not sure if you can tell in the video, but it is shrinking. But it is getting a little darker. Come on, lighter, really? You're gonna go out on the middle. I think I'm done though. Maybe I turned it down too far. Nope. All my juice is gone, but it's good enough. <laughs> there it goes a little bit. Okay. All right. So let it cool off a little bit. When it cools a little bit, or after it cools, you wanna go ahead and cut the tip. Okay. So when I cut my tip, I normally cut just a little bit of the tip, not just the ribbon. I wanna make sure that I get it all, that it looks nice and straight and even. You see that? I'm not sure if you can kind of see where it's, there we go, that it's a little dark. You may not be able to see that. So now let me show you how it looks when you do it with the heat gun. So again, I want to cut this tip off. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to roll this over. It's going to come on now. There we go. Roll this over. Gonna take my tip. I want to stick this through. There we go. As far as I can get it on my own. And now I want to take my tweezers. I want to pull my ribbon up so I can get a little bit more of my tweezers. Okay. And I want to pull it because what I don't want to do is what I just did. So be careful when you're pulling it because you don't want to mess up your ribbon. Okay. Let me straighten this back out. So be careful when you are pulling it with your tweezers because you don't want to mess up your ribbon. Okay. But this is a test piece, so we'll live. So I pull it up. It looks good. It looks nice and neat. So now I want to take my heat gun. I use my heat gun on the low settings. Let me pause for a second. And I hold this with my tweezers because I don't want to burn my fingers. Okay. So on my low setting, just gonna kind of go back and forth. Gonna switch the sides. I'm gonna get this side, making sure I don't burn my fingers. You don't want to 
hold the heat too close to the ribbon or touch your ribbon because it will burn your ribbon. I burn a piece and it'll also burn the end where the tweezers are. Okay. Just gonna go back and forth. The heat gun does look better than using the lighter, but both are effective. Okay. So let it cool a little bit. It feels a little sticky when it's warm. So we'll let it, let it cool a little bit. And then I wanna go ahead and cut the tip off a little bit of the aglet. I wanna cut that as well. And there you go. We have two awesome tips. That one's not a little straight, so I'll go back and cut that. I like it to be straight. I guess that's the perfectionist and most of us crafters. I need my small fingers. But anyway, you guys get it. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let's see if I get a piece of paper. And put on the back. Can you guys see the difference of the color? This is the one I did with the lighter. It looks a little bit darker than the one I did with the heat gun. So not a major difference, but the heat gun gives you a perfect seal. It doesn't burn it like the lighter. Okay, so where to purchase? You can purchase these. Let's put this up a little bit on our website, which is right at the bottom candysparkles.com it comes in an eight inch strip that you can cut down and they're only four dollars and that's enough to do at least two pair of shoes okay so you go to www.candysparkles.com it's under the supply section and you get an eight inch um piece you cut it down four inches i mean one inch a piece enough to do two pair of shoes is that right eight inches yeah, one, two, I had to, I'm like trying to count, like, yeah, yeah, that's right. Because you got two pairs of shoes, you got four ribbons, but two ends, which is eight. There you go. All right, guys, thank you for watching this tutorial, and we hope to be back to you really soon with something new and exciting. Have a good night or day or whatever time you're watching this. Bye.